President Obama wants the U.S. to take in thousands of Syrian refugees fleeing the Syri Syrian civil war. But Republicans are trying to stop him. Margaret Brennan is traveling with the president in Manila. President Obama lashed out at Republican presidential candidates who said the U.S. should not accept any Syrian refugees. These are the same folks oftentimes who suggest that they're so tough that uh, just talking to Putin or staring down ISIL or using some additional rhetoric somehow is going to solve the problems out there. Uh, but apparently they're scared of widows and orphans coming into the United States of America as part of our tradition of compassion. And Mr. That, Obama that warned the political backlash is helping ISIS. I cannot think of a more potent recruitment tool for ISIL than some of the rhetoric that's been coming out of here uh, uh, during the course of this debate. The administration plans to accept around 10,000 Syrian refugees over the next year. Of the more than 2,000 refugees admitted since the start of the Syrian war, more than 40 percent are children under 14 and only 2 percent are single males of combat age. The president says they're thoroughly vetted over a nearly two-year process, and he dared his critics to come up with a better system. They've been playing on fear in order to try to score political points or to advance uh, their campaigns. Uh, and it's irresponsible, and it's contrary to who we are. And it needs to stop because the world is watching. Tonight, White House officials said the president will veto a Republican bill that would make it even harder for Syrian refugees to enter the U.S. And Scott, despite the uproar, there are no plans to change the refugee policy. Margaret Brennan traveling with the president in Manila tonight. Margaret, thank you.